Hey everyone, so I am gonna be showing you guys this look right here as I'm getting ready to go shopping for my wedding dress. This is like shop number four or five. I don't really know, we've really been shopping quite a bit. Um, but wanted you guys to just get ready with me. So this is gonna be the final look. Had a lot of fun puts together, talk through just kind of like the whole wedding process so far and what dress shopping has been like. Yeah, let's get ready. You and me were meant to be as one. The universe has known it all along Maybe this is where our story starts Maybe it was written in the stars Written in the stars You will be forever all right, so I'm coming to you guys from my closet. I have like this whole vanity set up. If you haven't seen some of like my apartment updates and like apartment tour and stuff like that, I'll put a link up in the cards. Uh, and then I'll have some more kind of home content coming up. So hopefully y'all will see the vanity in one of those videos. But say hello, Bentley. Hello. But wanna go ahead and get ready um, for today. So I am just going to start by uh, the base of my face. So I have this disgusting scar right here from like a waxing incident. So happy for me. So our goal today is to cover that up. The good thing is a lot of these um, wedding dress shopping things, we, you know, usually always have a mask on. So, and I just started priming by using my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Then I'm going to go in and just do a light powder in the Deep War Mercier, just because I have extremely oily skin. So let's powder this up. Um, but this is like our fourth, I think, bridal appointment so far. So far it's going really well. Like I'm actually finding some different styles that I extremely, like I really like. But um, now we're at the point where it might be a little bit hard. I like, I'm probably down to like three dresses so far out of all the shops that I've gone to that I could literally pick any one of those three and be so happy. Um, but still something about those three are not exactly quite what I envisioned. I don't think, but then again, I could wear them. So I don't know. So we're gonna try one more dress shop today, see what we can find, and then executive decisions need to be made. So first off though, I'm going to start to like, color correct this situation so putting on some color corrector this one's from charlotte tilbury this is the tan or door i don't know so number three number three people number three so anyway so we'll see how all of this goes hopefully they have like a designer there that I think I really like and I you know, saw their dresses online and I think still, I think I found so far what just kind of dress shopping that my original look and feel is still very much so what I like in person. So that happened that way with our bridesmaids dresses. If you haven't seen that video, check that up in the cards. But we ended up picking the bridesmaids dress that like I fell in love with online, but just wasn't sure, you know, what we'd see in person. And so that, I mean, that's kind of cool, you know? So maybe the same thing kind of works out with the wedding dress. I still think we're really close, but um, Slash could already have it. I don't know what feeling I'm supposed to have. Going in with the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. This one is a favorite. And it always looks really, really good on the skin. And I like that it's full coverage, so this spot will be gone. Yeah, I don't know. So how are people supposed to feel when they're in their wedding dress? I don't know if like maybe I just get like dressed up too often, like I well used to, but not you know much this year. But I would always be at like galas and um, benefits and stuff. So there was always like reasons to get dressed up and growing up I mean we did not miss a dance and we were fortunate enough where like we went all out for all of our you know high school situations and all of that which is really awesome but yeah so I don't know I'm just used to getting dressed up so that feeling I don't know if that's the feeling that people get of like the they haven't seen themselves like this dressed up before or whatever but that's not the case here 
going in with a wet beauty blender just to be sure everything's blended out. Um, but what I have been doing, which has made dress shopping like which has made it all like helpful is when I'm getting ready, I'm kind of going all the way, dolling myself all the way up. Like I want to see what I'm gonna look like on my wedding day, whatever, um, as close as that could be. It just helps to like really get the full picture. So like my hair will be done, makeup will be done. I just wanna get the full look. So I'm gonna go in and do the brows. I think they're like halfway done and then I'm going to carve them out just a little bit with the NARS um, concealer this is their pot concealer soft matte complete concealer and this one is in the medium dark too so I feel like carving them out just kind of always gives your brows that extra lift it looks like you did more even if you didn't so. so the shop that I'm going to today is white magnolia what's been really like hard and interesting about wedding dress shopping is that some places don't allow you to like take pictures and film or they'll only let you take pictures and film of like your final two kind of like what dresses you really like there so we'll see how my wedding dress like come shopping with me video whatever I name that turns out to look like <laughs> um because I've really only been able to like film in two places and I don't really remember what they said either so we'll check that out before we get there but okay brows done-ish happy enough um so I'm gonna go on with the KKW um beauty palette this is the classic two palette and I like to use this I think it's manifest yeah that makes sense shade and go in the crease here and I'm gonna do a darker eye today I haven't seen that quite yet um, again nothing too dramatic and I'm not like doing a lot here. well I am doing a lot but if I was to do my own makeup for the wedding or something like that like this would not be rushed we're rushed today but I should be able to still get the whole look and feel of that. Um, looks like wood in the matte palette that she has and really take that to the lash line here. Just to look it out a little bit more. But we are definitely in the thick of wedding planning, which is kind of crazy. So we're at the time of filming this, like right here at a year out, which is kind of nuts. It's definitely getting real. Also gonna go in on the um, bottom lash line with this. Um, but it's been fun, you know, it's just been making sure we just like, you know, that we're getting what we want, knowing what we're paying for, all that kind of stuff. Um, but it's still been like weird planning a wedding during COVID. You know, I've been watching some of my friends that were getting married this summer and this fall, just like how they've been adapting to just kind of all of this craziness. And then we're over here like, woo, 200 person, you know, um, in the city wedding for next year. And we're planning for that, but then I'm watching what's happening right now. So that still feels like a little funky, but um, I don't know, fingers crossed. I hope it all works out. I mean, if not, I just wanna like, you know, I just wanna get married. Um, I really don't care what that looks like at the end of the day. Like, obviously I've dreamed of whatever this day would look like. Um, but I think the big picture here is just that like Damon and I get married and that we're happy. So whatever that turns out to be, I'm all happy and for. Um, so now that my eyes are largely done, I'm going to go in with some concealer. And this is just the Tarte Shape Tape. I do want a brighter under eye. But on the blog, I think I'm getting ready to post like a, um, things to bring with you while you're wedding dress shopping. Um, you know, there have been a few things that I definitely like, uh, you know, I'm used to like bringing the necessities to like dress shopping. That way you can get the full look. Um, but there are some things I just didn't really think about the first time. So um, for the first shop we went to, so I made sure I was definitely 
prepared for this. Do I look like fake sculpted? I need to get the cheeks in a minute, but cool. So I'm gonna go in with the translucent powder. What time is it? Oh, I just got a couple minutes. So while that's sitting there, I'm gonna go in. I'm out of like my sticks. So I'm just gonna go in with a, this is a, like a darker um, Fenty Beauty bronzer and taking like a little fat brush here. I'm really just using that to carve out the cheeks here. Then we'll take some of the Laura Mercier. I think this is like the candle glow powder to just pop everything off and try and blend it as well as we can. Taking my puff this time to really bake underneath the eyes and get everything to set. I'm really getting kind of in this nose area too. Um, um, but going dress shopping also, like, so in my dream situation, I always thought like we'd be going to New York and we go to Kleinfelds and like me and all the girls. Well, I always want to keep my group small for dress shopping, so I won't say all the girls, but like my mom and my sisters and like really, really close family, we, you know, go get some champagne and do cute little brunches and then just go up there for like the big shopping. I mean, Atlanta's, you know, still a really good market for dress shopping. So like I knew I'd probably ultimately find my dress here in Atlanta. Um, but I wanted that experience in New York and like I have family up in New York so it's just going to be a really good time and I, I love going up to New York, it's one of my favorite cities. Um, cool. So then going in to really bronze up the cheeks some more, going in with Pamma Sun, and I don't know, Becca, one of their bronzers, literally one of my favorite, just gives such the perfect like glow. Along with the same brush that we did, um, the Fenty one. I'm gonna go in and just carve out some of my chin a little bit. And then we're gonna take like a wedge sponge and the cashew powder. Guys, I have so many powders. I'm such an oily chick. Um, and we're just gonna make sure this is carved. All right, now that that's there, we can do the hair and just like how I think I am close to style of how I think I'm gonna do my hair. So essentially I've just been kind of like leaving a couple of the front and then doing this pinned back situation. And I really like this because it allows for like a great place for my veil. Oh my gosh, guys, you have to see some of the veils that like we've, you know, seen while we were out and all of that. It has like, we're doing, I definitely want a cathedral veil. I think Damon already knows that anyway, so it's not like I'm ruining anything. So I mean like, put me in the longest thing you have. And like with the venue, like I have a pretty decent like entrance and walk, so. And then going in with uh, Sephora number 66, and I think it's a Morphe blush palette. These don't have names on. Oh, they do. Um, makeup Artist and Unapologetic. I don't know which palette this is. Oh, the 8W. So I mix the two of these. It makes such a good um, blush situation. A little bit of a spray just to kind of give my hair a little bit of shine. So this is the Argon and Moroccan Oil from OGX. Just gonna like re-hit a couple areas because I want, you know, a loose curl. And all of that, so. But the hair is done, just like that. <laughs> back dressed. Also, I want to show you guys this like funnest contraption thing ever. Oh, it's dirty, so that's not going to like make my point well at all. Um, but I found these online. They are like, I don't even know what they call them online, but found them on Amazon. If you guys don't know, I have an Amazon storefront where you can, um, just kind of see everything that I'm recommending off Amazon and like my top purchases. This thing has been a lifesaver during uh, wedding dress shopping. So, 
you know, sometimes I want to take off my mask at certain points while we're social distancing or whatever, just so I can get pictures of whatever the full look is. But so this, you just kind of put over your mouth like this. And then that way, when you put your mask on, it's not like taking off like all your makeup um it protects like my lipstick and lip gloss and it's like so much easier to like breathe in so your mask isn't like i'm doing that completely <laughs> backwards but it's not with you which is great so like these have been so awesome they come in like a pack of five again they're on my amazon shop really helpful but so i'm saying all this because i'm actually putting on lipstick for like one of the first times instead of just kind of like a little chapstick or something Okay, so then I'm gonna go in with a KKW Beauty. I think this is the number four of her nudes. Okay, so these are just the Ardell Wispies. I mean, they're really like an everyday lash for me. Okay, and then I have been wearing these earrings quite a bit um, while we're going shopping. I don't know what the exact jewelry is that I'll wear, but these are from J Lux. I don't know. I at the beginning of the year like right after we got engaged i mean i bought so much stuff like like some little white dresses and some earrings and all of that just like thinking that okay eventually we'll you know soon enough we'll have our you know engagement party and all of that we haven't had one yet but um you know that we'll just do all of that kind of stuff um so I have all of this for that purpose, but now it's serving out to be really good for wedding dress shopping because it gives me a bridal-esque look that you typically goes with any dress for the most part. You know, I might choose to do something more dramatic, but at least it has something there. And then the bridal shops usually have like something too. So like if you wanted to try on an earring or like a headpiece or whatever else, like they have those all there to jack you up or whatever the term is on say yes to the dress. But yeah, so this is the final look it took me about 30 minutes all right so wanted to quickly share with you guys my outfit for dress shopping just this top from VG. It actually came in like a set um with like some little shorts it's like a lounger set but the top is so comfy so i like it jeans are from i don't know have to check it out <laughs> um and then the shoes, I think these are like Public Desire from a couple years ago. For jewelry, I just have a little tennis bracelet. I scratched myself there, ouch. Um, and then you guys saw the earrings that I had on um, while I was at the closet. But yeah, this is the fit. And then I'm carrying a gigantic bag that holds just like everything I might need for dresses. But yeah. All right, guys, well, I hope you all enjoyed the Get Ready With Me. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below. If you haven't seen any of my other wedding videos, be sure to check out some links down below and I have a whole wedding series playlist also. I'll link that up in the cards, but you can also find it in the description. But yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.